All right, I had some free time. Thought I'd take another shot at Kerensky 77's second challenge lock. This also is a marked cylinder, just like the first one. And I do have the key for it, still mummified here. Uh, but before I unwrap those, uh, and I'm going to have to unwrap those because under the first challenge lock, he had a screw in it. I mean, a bunch of handmade pins, but a screw. And so when I put the core follower in there, uh, that screw grabbed a hold of it and all the pins kind of fell out randomly. So I don't have any idea how to rekey that thing. So we'll, we'll figure it out. But before we do all of that, let's see if we can't get this picked, shall we? All right. The core does still rotate freely, so that means I didn't clamp it too tight. I'm going to start out with uh, moderate tension, and I'll try to keep my fingers up here out of your way. I'm going to use a homemade pick. This is a uh, 15 thousandths, and I tried to make it into kind of a deforest pick. So here we go. Moderate tension, all the way to the rear, looking for a binder. Springy. Five is bound. Let's give him a little nudge. That was a nice solid click. All right, I'm going to the back and we'll start over. Go to six. He's still, he's still pretty solid. I'm not going to mess with him too much. Let's see if somebody else is bound up. It was like three. He's a little nudge. All right. And two, and there we go. All right. Let's. We're at what? One thirty-eight. Let's gut it. stuff out of the way. So now we get to open those keys up. All right, so we will need a screwdriver again. Still good. I will need a medium follower. And I want to line this up so that the pins do not fall in that little crack. So give me a second here. I've had enough disasters today. Don't have need another one. Alright, that ought to do it. I did not feel any security pins inside of this thing. Oops. There are two pins that fell out of... Two pins just fell out of position number one. Okay, these are all standards and... Pretty good bidding. Got some really long ones and a couple of short ones hiding in there. Nothing unusual about the core, it doesn't look like. I don't see any counter milling. Nothing at all. All right, let's see if we can find some tweezers and let's see what we have here. There's that other pin. I had pushed both of them into the upper chamber. Because it was so short, you could push both of them into the upper chamber. So I clearly overset one, but I overset it so far that I overcame that uh, driver pin. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing unusual about this. These are all standards. These two come out of the same hole. Unbelievable. All right, there's what we're looking at. Only thing uh, that gave a little bit of challenge here, let me move that out of the way so it's not rolling around, is we have these two very short pins hiding behind these two long ones. And that's really the only challenge to this thing. Let's, uh, just out of curiosity, let's take these and put them back in there. I can't believe, because when this happens, you're supposed to use a longer driver yeah, see, that fits up there pretty flush. It's very easy to get both of them. Hmm. So I didn't overset that at all. I just didn't touch it, and it and it broke the shear line. Should have used a longer driver. All right, there we go, fellas. Kerensky 77, thank you, sir, for the lock, or locks. I can now bust open these keys and uh, put everything back together, and the next victim is going to 
get to take apart that lock that has the screw in it. Challenge lock number one. Anyway, everybody, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Gentlemen, stay legal.